Hi, this is Mr. O'Daniel. I am here to give you a tutorial about cinch learning for the science classes at Truman and Sparing. Uh, first of all, this is going to be just for w web browser users only. So if you're using the app on an iPhone or iPad or any kind of Apple device, then you should ignore this. You, this is not, a, not what it's going to look like on your computer at all. So this is just for people who are using Google Chrome, Internet Explorer, Firefox, um, also, I think Safari would work. I don't think Safari doesn't work very well, but if you are using it on Safari, this is how you would do it. Um, or if you are on a tablet and you're using the internet on a tablet, that should work as well. So first, I'm going to get to Cinch Learning. Here's how you do that. I'm going to go to Google Chrome. This, that's how I get to it. I use Google Chrome, so that's what I'm going to use. So this is my home page. I am not going to type in type in Cinch Learning here in the Google bar. If I do that, I will get I will get taken to a very um, bad place. You will not want to go there. You will not get to Cinch Learning by doing that. So I'm going to go to my URL bar, and up here, I'm going to type in CinchLearning.com. Notice I'm not typing in anything else except for CinchLearning.com. No www. There should not be anything anything like this. Just CinchLearning.com, and I'm going to press enter. All right. Once I do that, I get to this page. This is your sign-in page. Most of you have, all of you have your usernames and passwords. You should be able to sign in from here. You're going to be able to find your sign, your sign-in, right here. Here's where you sign in. I, I have already signed in, so it's going to say welcome back. So I'm going to click on that. This is what it looks like when I sign in, not when you sign in. So I'm going to go to a student's page to tell you how they sign in. So thanks a lot, Garrett. I'm going to log in as you. And so this is what it looks like on Saturday, October 5th, 2013. Okay, the, just Saturday, October 5th. This It will look like this every single weekend. Every Saturday and Sunday it will look like this because nothing is actually assigned. Nothing is uh, able to be assigned on the weekend. So I am going to tell you how to get to assignments when you... Uh, don't see assignments. Get to other. Get to assignments when you have a different assignment up, and things like that. So this will be pretty helpful for you. So I told you, told you how to sign in. There. This is what comes up when you sign in. Okay. To find different lessons, uh, you want if you want to go through different lessons. Here's what you do. Up here it says Earth Science six through eight, right here. If you're using physical or life science, that will, it will say that there too. It'll say physical science six through eight or life science six through eight. Here's what you need to do. You need to click there, and then this little three uh, line box will come up. I'm gonna call that the hamburger box. So you click on the hamburger box, and this drop down menu will come. Okay, this drop down menu tells you every single lesson that's actually in the textbook. Okay. So this is this is your textbook. Cinch learning is not something other than your textbook. So it serves um, as a option if you don't have one. If you don't have one at home, this is what you use. Okay. So this is and it gives you a lot more than the textbook gives you. Okay. So here's what you do. My class has been working on maps, technology, map making, spherical Earth, and Earth's interior. So I'm going to start there. So I'm going to click on maps. Whenever I click, if I click on maps. This is what it's going to look like if I assigned maps to you on a certain day. Okay, so this is what this is what it looks like, and you can navigate through a lot of these things. All right, if I want to go to a different lesson, so right now I'm on maps, and I want to go to technology and map making. Again, I go up to the little hamburger, and I see all these lessons: maps and technology and map making right next to each other, since they're in the same chapter. So I'm going to click on technology and map making, and then this will come up. So I can go to basically any lesson by clicking on this, clicking on the hamburger. So we've done spherical earth and earth's interior. So if you click on that, you'll be able to get to anything. Also, we've done this before, but we uh, here's how you get to homework. Over here is your homework bar. Um, if there is something there, there will be it will say homework. If there's not something there, there probably won't it probably won't say anything. So if if there's something assigned, it'll say this and it'll say upcoming or today or past due or something like that. And you click on there, and then that's where you get your homework. There's there's going to be a description 
and some resources for you. Uh, sometimes it may just tell you to tell you to go into lesson pages and answer questions and submit to teacher. It could say that, or it'll say something like this, and you're, you'll be able to do some worksheets. So you can either you can either click on the worksheet and do it in your notebook. You can type in here, or you can actually do it on a Word document and attach your homework using using this attachment. Um, some of you may not know how to do that. If you're attaching it from your computer, you're just going to cl click on local file, and then you're going to choose the file. It'll it'll just take you to all your files in your computer. So you would after you choo say choose file, you'll, you're going to choose what you want to what you want to do, and then click on add. So that's how that's how you're going to be able to do that. Let's. So you can add your homework by attaching or answering in there or doing it on the um, in your notebook. So that's how you do that's how you do homework um, for discussions. Uh, you'll find there those on feeds right right over here. And if you if you or a st other student types in something on the lesson pages, you can see what they type in here. So there's a discussion um, about one of the lessons. Okay, so I'm gonna go back. All right, so I'm back here at your homepage where you were, where you would get to if I, you don't have a lesson. So I'm just going to go into a lesson real quick and show you how to get to a few things from there. So I'm going to go to Maps and go into my lesson pages. So this is your textbook that's online. So there's a couple things on the top on the top of it that you need to pay attention to. Up here are your essential questions. They're also down here. Um, uh, those are those will help guide your reading. So remember to look at those questions and think about them before you start reading. Over here, these are all of the um, activities that are actually in this t in this textbook. Not all the activities, but also the readings, all all the parts that you're reading. So if I if I assign to you uh, the plotting location section of the maps lesson, you will click on plotting locations, and it'll go straight there. And then you would read that, okay? And there might maybe sometimes where I ask you to answer the questions in there, so you would answer the questions, okay? However, however you want to, and then save them or submit them to the teacher. Okay, and to do that, to do that, as most of you already know, you go down to the bottom, you click save, and this should come up. Your answers have been saved. If that does not come up, there might be a problem with your device or with your internet. I'm not sure, um, but if that happens, make sure you uh, write that down or write it down in your text in your notebook. Then, or what you can do is come, just come up, come show me if you're in the, actually in the classroom and then if you press send a teacher it'll say your answers have su successfully submitted so if that and if that doesn't come up then there also might be a problem so those two um, message bars should come up whenever you whenever you press save or submit so this is your textbook it has every single single thing your textbook has it has in it and more so and you can you can click on pictures and they will enlarge for you and it'll give you uh, the words or what whatever's on it and then you can flip through the pictures. All right, let's go back to your lesson dash dashboard. So this is so I showed you how to do homework assignments that were over here. Here's your discussion. Here's how you get to your lesson pages. Now down here, here are the like worksheets and quizzes and other supplemental materials that you have. There are three little boxes here and there will always be those um, and you can click on any any of those to get to an online quiz lesson quiz map projections video or and down here these this little bar is important it has lesson pages presentation slideshow which you are have already clicked on before and you can also click on these arrows that take you to other worksheets and other assignments and other quizzes things like that um, these will these will help you say you don't understand if you do not understand something in the lesson, these may help you under, understand those. So one more piece of information that you guys need to know about is right up here. See how it says Saturday, October 5th, 2013? This is your calendar. So if you click on the ca that calendar icon, it will take you to the calendar. You can go to any day. This is helpful for you students that are absent sometimes or if you want to know what we did on September 23rd. It doesn't, doesn't matter. So. Click here, and if you if you do want to know what what we did on September 23rd, you would go back to September, click on the 23rd, and there should be something there. And right here it says Earth's Interior and Spherical Earth. The, these are the two lessons. 
All right, so make sure, you, so whatever lesson you want to get to, so you click on the, that lesson, and then it'll take you right here, so you can get to your lesson pages and your other supplemental materials, so your worksheets and things like that. Okay, so this calendar will take you, take you anywhere. So even, so let's go back to today. So today is October 5th. Your cinch learning will look like this every single weekend because there's nothing assigned over the weekend. Um, if yours looks like this and you wanted to want to know what we did on Tuesday, click the calendar, go to Tuesday, and then here is what here is what we did. All right, uh, I may just keep these keep lessons there. Um, even if we don't do anything in Cinch that day, the lessons should will probably still be there uh, just for your for your, for students who are were absent or in things like that the days before. So you can use this calendar very easily to get to other places. So if we go to October 7th, those are still there. And remember, you do have a test on Monday for Earth Science at Truman. Go to October 8th, things are there, this, the same lessons. And October 9th, that's where it cuts off. I just I didn't assign those lessons uh, to you farther than October 8th. So remember, if this if this is showing, you need to go to Earth Science, Physical Science, or Life Science right here. Click down, click on the hamburger, and go to wherever your lessons are. Okay, so that's how you use the calendar. All right, if there, I don't think there's anything else. I think I showed you how to find different lessons, how to find your homework assignments, how to look at your discussions and feeds, how to get to worksheets and quizzes, how to use a calendar, and how to sign in. So that those should be that should be everything you need to know if you are using the web browser for doing Cinch learning for science. Uh, if you are using the Cinch app on an Apple device or a, I think it is available for Android now, if you are using an, a, the app, you will not be, this will not be for you. I will come out with another tutorial very soon for you guys and show you how you can get to other things. The only thing that will you will not be able to get to on the app is the homework assignments that I give to you and you're gonna to have to find those another way like a computer or a tablet or something like that so everything everything else you should be able to get to alright that was the sense tutorial this is Mr. O'Daniel and I'll see you later